Hi everyone, and welcome to this exclusive Flip Normal tutorial series, where we will be creating a science fiction hover vehicle for video games. We will go through the whole process from designing the vehicle to modeling the final version for games. Our aim is to have a model and a level of quality to be used in cinematics and for next generation consoles. My name is David Seiss, and I am the co-founder and studio director of Paloma Studios. I have many years of experience working in the video game industry, but I've also worked in television, commercials, attractions, and virtual reality experiences. Some of the projects I have collaborated on are Overwatch for Blizzard, The Sims, Planetside 2, Mass Effect New Earth, and The Blue. In this tutorial, we will focus on creating this hover vehicle to the level of cinematics quality, but also to be used in game. We will be putting a lot of thought on the design and functionality, so it can also be usable for regular gameplay. We will start with gathering references, in creating and designing our vehicle, we will discuss what kind of things you should take into consideration when you are designing a vehicle for games. We will tackle design aesthetics to make our vehicle grounded in our world and also at the same time make it functional. Then, we will move to the blocking stage. In this stage, we will test our design idea and evaluate it with simple primitives to make sure that all the proportions and the scale is working correctly. Also, we will make decisions at this stage to enhance the silhouette and come up with a more compelling design. All this process, we will be doing it in Maya, the game's industry leading 3D software. I will cover from some basic concepts to more advanced techniques. Newcomers and veterans should benefit from seeing the classic PBR high poly, low poly workflow, and will come up with better understanding on why certain things are done a certain way. After this, we will go through the creation of the high poly version and what it means to bake information from a high poly model to a low poly version. We will talk about how to make the most optimized UVs possible for games, but also some guidelines and tricks to improve them. All through this process, we will reinforce our initial design, and in the end, we will have a model that will have the highest quality, it is perfectly functional, and is optimized to be used in games. Most of this process can be applied to any 3D software, however, if you follow along using Maya, you will learn a lot of tricks that are commonly used in the industry. So, take a deep breath, get ready, and let's get started. <laughs> 